did everything they told us, pills and rubs and bed rest too. But nothing seemed to help him. Seemed like there was nothing we could do. Because this is a hurting thing. October 2016 marked the 30th anniversary of Dr. Marilyn Hughes Gaston's landmark study on sickle cell disease. Her work led to a nationwide screening program to test newborns and provide an effective treatment. She became interested in sickle cell disease as an intern while training in pediatrics at Cincinnati Children's. She went on to establish the Comprehensive Sickle Cell Center at Cincinnati Children's. Today, colleagues, Sensei Children's staff, and medical students consider her a research pioneer and still ask about her discoveries. There were 215 altogether, um, age three months to 36 months at the 20, 23 clinical centers. All were SS disease, confirmed by CDC and family studies. So this is the first baby that was admitted. Dr. Russell Ware was a medical student at Duke University in the early 1980s during the Gaston Sickle Cell Clinical Trial. I remember when the paper came out in 1986, I was further along in my training and thought, wow, this is a pretty important paper that a simple dose of penicillin can actually save lives. Because the penicillin results were so promising, the safety board ended the study eight months early. Dosing with penicillin became a central policy of the U.S. Public Health Service. The prophylactic penicillin study uh, uh, has altered the practice of medicine everywhere. She's one of the few people in medicine whose single study saved thousands of lives. Among all the clinical trials and all the research that's done, all the investigators, there's a special place in that pantheon for investigators whose results actually save lives, and this is one of those. Through her Gaston Scholars at the University of Cincinnati College of Medicine, she continues to inspire the next generation. Dr. Gaston is a remarkable person. Here she is a, a minority physician herself, grew up in, in poverty, was able to overcome a number of personal and professional hurdles to, to get where she was. She achieved a lot here at Cincinnati, then she went on to the federal government and worked as the assistant surgeon general. So her whole career is one that you could just point to and say, try to aspire to do that. Mm -hmm.